and welcome here to more Talk SCB and welcome now to more build-up ahead of Barcelona against Napoli. We are nearly there now. It is getting so close, which means it's time to cross over to the pre-match press conferences where Kike Setien and interestingly, Sergio Busquets sat down earlier on today to discuss the game against Napoli and the expectations we have ahead of that one. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing all of those statements and just seeing if there's any clue of what we can expect in terms of the team selection. It's all coming up. Let's get right to it. Come on. We'll start first of all with the words of Sergio Busquets, which I think in itself is very, very interesting preparation indeed, because obviously the club are in charge here of who comes out, who faces the media on any given Champions League game. And it's just interesting here to see Busquets selected when, of course, he's not playing tomorrow. He's suspended, yet they've put him out there in front of the media. And I think that's, again, just to keep everybody nice and focused. Those who are playing tomorrow, they can keep their mind fully on the game. Busquets has been sent out there. He's taken one for the team and he face the media's questions. One of the first ones there was basically, how are the players feeling ahead of the game? What's the mood like within the dressing room? And Busquets came back. He said, look, we're optimistic. He said, we've had many days now to prepare for this game. He said, coming into the return leg after a one or draw in the first leg, we know that anything can happen. We know this game is still open. He said, but we will go for it. We are going to stay true to our philosophy. We want to progress. Busquets there, very much saying, we're going to put it on the line. We are prepared to do what it takes to win this match. And it was interesting then to see him ask, was Messi's meeting with Seti in a turning point after the defeat, of course, to Osasuna? The two came together. They spoke about it. We spoke about that on the channel before. Was that a turning point? Do the players see it that way? And Busquets came back. He said everything that's talked about in order to improve is welcome. He said again, these weeks of training have been good for us and we hope they're going to bear fruit tomorrow. He said we really want to continue in the competition. We want to play in the final eight but first we must beat a very difficult opponent in Napoli who have great players. And I do think it was interesting right through Busquets' answer he to put particular emphasis there on that training. It seems again like the players feel good after the training sessions they've had, the preparation that they've done ahead of this game. And again he mentioned it when he was asked there whether Barcelona would use the defeats against Liverpool, against Roma to motivate them coming into this game and Busquets said no. He said we're only thinking about this Napoli game. We're not thinking about the past, we're not thinking there about previous defeats. All we're thinking about is the now. He said we've been able to train much more. He said, usually during the season, you wouldn't get a chance to train this much. It's benefited us. He said, playing always gives you a bit of extra pace. But he said, other things as well can be improved. We aspire to deliver much more, to control the game, to attack, to score goals. Because in the end, it's goals that count. Finally, it was interesting there to hear both Busquets and Setien asked about the Arthur Mello situation. Now, the latest on that is that Arthur is actually back in Barcelona now. He's not back to train and he's not back to play. What he is there is back in the city to basically resolve his dispute with the club in person as basically the two parties are going to try to find an agreement to terminate that contract early and Busquets' thoughts were very interesting. He said it's been a very difficult situation for everybody. He said the only ones who who know the truth of the club and the player. He said what we want is as little noise as possible and the club and the player agree. He said it was surprised that he didn't return because obviously it would have been normal for him to come back and train. He said it was surprised to all of us. He said but for the good of the club and for the dressing room it would be best to reach that agreement. That would benefit everybody there. So Busquets there almost seemingly putting a bit of pressure on the club to just get this situation resolved. If we need to terminate the contract, whatever it may be, Busquets there saying just do it. We want to focus on the football. We don't want any of this extra noise. And it was interesting there to cross over now with Kike Setien because he was also asked about the Arthur situation. He said, I spoke to Arthur before he left and the truth is that I haven't spoken to him since that time. He said, the rest I've only learned from the club. He said, this situation goes 
was above my position, and he said it's something really I would have liked to have ended differently. And that was all that Setien did say about Arthur. But onto the game itself, onto Napoli, onto Setien's thoughts about exactly what we can expect. Again, he was asked what's the feeling like coming into this game. Setien said, we already had positive feelings from our last game against Alaves. He said what we needed though was that break. He said we had so many games in a row, we were tired. He said now we've had a chance to prepare properly. He said we've had a chance to reset. And we've returned now with that renewed energy that has allowed us to do some very good training. And again, emphasis there on the work they've been doing in preparation for this one. Sitian was asked though that if this game doesn't go right, if the result does not end in the right way, have you thought about this being your very last Barcelona game? And Setien came back with a lot of confidence. He said the reality is it hasn't occurred to me that this could be my last game as Barca coach. He said I'm calm and I'm only thinking that we will continue until the final in Portugal with the same energy that I always do. And that wasn't either the only time that Setien mentioned Portugal. Obviously here the club don't want to get too ahead of themselves, but Setien did seem very, very confident that we would be in Portugal. And that was emphasised there in his answer about Dembele, who is not in the squad to face Napoli tomorrow. I've spoken about this in the build-up to the game. It just came there a bit too soon for him. They didn't want to rush things and they wanted to take every precaution possible. So Dembele not involved tomorrow. But Setien was there asked, is he recovered from his injury? problem. Setien came back, he said yes Dembele has recovered, but he said the problem is the training sessions that he's had with the group, they've been very few, and by selecting him tomorrow, we would have been taking a big risk. He said he still needs to find his confidence again, his sharpness, he said we'll take another look at him next week to see if he could compete in Portugal. There it is again, supreme confidence, a lot of belief. Setien, of course, then was asked about the lineup. He was basically asked, do you know what the lineup is going to be? Are you sure about who you're going to be selecting? And Setien came back. He said, I've already decided on my lineup for tomorrow's game. He said, actually, for a few days now, I've known what that's going to be. He said, although some players could still change, it could still vary depending on circumstances, but I know in my mind what I want to do. And he was then asked as well about Ricky Pooch, about Ansu Fati. Are they going to be involved? Are they ready to take on a game of this magnitude? in the Champions League and Setien came back he said well they're both fit he said they're both fit they're both ready they can play of course they can play in the Champions League they have a chance of course a featuring tomorrow Setien there not giving anything away he wasn't prepared in this press conference to give any real hints to give any insight I think the media here were trying to get some team selection news out of him but Setien rightly so keeping those cards very very close to his chest and that's the way ahead of a big game like this the the way that it should be. But it was interesting though, the final questions here coming about what's going to happen out there on the pitch, the style that Barcelona are going to show, and also the mentality coming into this game. Setien was asked basically, do Barcelona need to learn to defend whilst having the ball? Do they need to sort of work on the structure there of the team? And I think Setien's answer here was very, very interesting indeed. He said the best thing would be to read the moments of each game. He said you need to be able to read when you need the ball in games, you need to be able to read when you need to defend, and you need to choose Choose those moments very, very wisely. He said, if we are able to keep the ball tomorrow, there'll be less chances of conceding because our opponents won't have the ball. But he said, that doesn't mean we're not going to take risks. It doesn't mean that we're not going to play vertically and look for chances on goal. We are still going to take risks, but when we have to defend, we have to suffer. We have to choose our moments wisely. In this game, we have to be ready. Finally, though, it was about the mindset. That was one of the biggest things in the Champions League over the past few years, the way the players react in certain situations situations, how they're feeling, the motivation within the camp, and he was basically asked there about whether or not he'll be motivating the players to go out there and show that desire tomorrow, and Setien said of course we talk with the players so that they give their best in a match like this but he said it's not necessary, it's not necessary here to look for special motivation, because these are players who have played hundreds of Champions League matches, they are great footballers we have a dream, and the motivation is already there within them, that's why you can expect in these kind of games, their very best level. He said, I can assure you, we have worked at our maximum during these weeks to get to this game in the very best shape possible. We are confident. 
And so that there indeed, guys, is the words of Sergio Busquets and in particular the words of Kike Setien ahead of this bumper clash in the Champions League. It's a massive one. It's a really high-pressure game. The stakes are high. We cannot afford to go out. We all know that. We're all aware of that. And as the game starts to get closer, the nerves will be there. We cannot afford to make a mistake. But it's on these nights that the best players, they rise to that occasion. And we have to see that from Barcelona on Saturday night. Make sure you're staying up to date here on More Talk FCB, where the lineup reaction will be coming ahead of Napoli. Also, of course, plenty going on on the main channel. And over on the Flick Chat too, get involved there in your predictions in the live match chat. I'm really looking forward to that. And I will see you guys very soon indeed. Come on, we can do this. We're so close now. I will see you soon. Leave your thoughts down below. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Oh.